I love track and field games. Some of my favourite gaming experiences involve some of these types of games, like uh, waggling around on the My Kempston joystick for hours on a time with Daley Thompson's Decathlon. Who were misses, I know how that sounds. <laughs> but then I'd be playing uh, Olympic Gold, is probably one of my most played games of ever. Um, Lilyhammer 94, it, the list goes on. So I was delighted when I saw that World Champions Decathlon aims to take me back to that era with Stick waggling, button mashing, controller breaking, RSI inducing gameplay. So I appreciate a lot of people think, oh, this is all gone by era now. But nope, for me, I want it back. And I was delighted to have it back. This game lives in that late 80s, early 90s vibe. Everything down to the pixel art, the music, although there's very minimal of it, uh, and sound effects, it all points in that direction. And it's aimed for you to pick up and play in a very simplistic way. And as I explained, that is both a blessing and a curse for what this game provides. The decathlon means that you've got just 10 events. The 100 metres, long jump, shot put, high jump, 400 metres, 110 metres hurdles, discus, pole vault, javelin and 1,500 metres. And they all have the same type of control scheme. So you, between one and four players locally, or taking one to four players online as well, which is a great addition for the game, allows you to select your country, your sex, uh, some kind of art for your character itself, and then dive into the match and you'll be representing your country. Now, you'll either be waggling your analog stick or mashing the bumper buttons on your controller to gain speed or momentum or power, depending on whatever uh, event that you've got going on. And then all you'll have is another button to press at certain times to make sure that you trigger either the jump or the throw, depending on what event it is that you're doing. And that's it. And everything comes down to making sure that you've pressed that button on the maximum amount of your power or speed to be able to then make the longest jump or the highest throw. That makes it exceptionally easy for everyone to pick up and play. And with the jumping and throwing events, you have three goes so that you can foul or work out exactly where you should press that button best for the best timed approach so that you don't lose distance, say, by leaping off before you've even hit the white line on the javelins and the long jumps. But what it does mean is that everyone kind of ends up, once you've worked out what you're doing, everyone ends up with roughly the same score. And the issue around this, and I couldn't quite work it out if this game has it at all or not, is that when I used to play, uh, and still do play, all of these older Olympic style games, whenever you jumped or threw, you had like a press and hold function where you'd press and hold your button and then you'd see like an angle go between 0 and 90 degrees. And the idea was that you were supposed to hit 45 degrees so that you'd get like the perfect trajectory. But in this game, it doesn't seem to exist. So we would press and hold things to see if it would go further. Didn't seem to make a blind bit of difference. So we all just reverted back to just pressing the button. And so we'd all end up with roughly the same type of result. And it felt a bit arbitrary when someone minched ahead like with a couple of millimetres um, or centimetres on a javelin throw or a long jump or a shot pot throw. Because we'd think, well, how's the game deciding that? We're very confused because the UI shows that we were all on maximum power or speed. So that's kind of my takeaway from this game is that by being so simplistic, yes, it's great and you can have some good fun with this for a little while. Um, and it's very easy to pick up and play, but it lacks that differentiation between characters or players sorry when you get good at just being able to survive a dead arm waggling your stick back and forth um and that's i think where i think this game if they were to look at it and do either some improvements or perhaps go for a sequel and i'd love to see this kind of aesthetic and vibe applied to just like a pretend olympic games because i think they're onto something here i really do um it just needs that kind of extra variation and that comes also to the control schemes so that they feel slightly different for each of the events so that it differentiates them all out because essentially this then started to funnel into a three-tiered thing waggle the stick for the races uh, waggle and press a button for a throw or waggle and press a stick for a jump and it kind of felt like just three events but just for different lengths of time
I did run into a couple of technical issues as well. Uh, there were some times where I would throw or jump and it would tell me on my scoreboard that I had fouled, but I hadn't. And what was odd was it then corrected itself on the final screen's result. Um, and it wouldn't say that I'd fouled at all, but it was very confusing at the time. Um, and what we'd also find as well was um, sometimes we'd be waggling the sticks on the, Anna, on the Xbox 360 controllers and the input just didn't seem to catch it it was really odd we tried it with several controllers and it would just it was like it drop out for a few seconds and just not really care anymore and then you'd have to completely stop leave the game for a couple of seconds and then start again um which made us think because initially this happened on the 400 meter and 1500 meter races that there was some kind of hidden stamina thing to it but then we had one race where it didn't happen at all and we were perfectly fine and we just waggled all the way through so odd uh, but that's what playtests are for and that was what I was invited to do so this game still being worked on still in uh, relatively early access so yeah there's a lot of potential here and I'm quite excited to see where it goes and hopefully fingers crossed this could be a juicy franchise to buy into for the future as well so that's World Champions Decathlon out now on PC in early access on Steam take a look Point and review will be over on highplanegoats.com. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.